I wish I was as strong as Jesse James was. Well, thanks to Gorilla Mind, you can be as strong as Jesse. Wow. Hello, Ninja, a force of nature rising. Good morning, you guys. So it's currently 5.30 a.m. And this is Jesse James West's usual time that he gets up in the morning to start his day up. Plus, I wish I was waking up to some Guac Guac 3000. I gotta bust a sick leak. Without further ado, sit back, grab a snack, and let's get into today's video. So I gotta be super quiet, you guys, because my sister just finished having surgery, and she's in the room laying down asleep, and we cannot wake the Tasmanian devil, which is my mom's. So it is currently 5.50 a.m., you guys, and this is the time that Jesse James West usually has his breakfast. I think I used too much your gum, which is a thickener, and this has bread and eggs mixed into it. My blender did not mix it all the way. I think in Jesse James West's video, he had maybe like the bullet or chopped. If I eat this, I might get salmonella, so I'm not. I probably. Squad, welcome back to the Ghetto Rick J. So today I'll be eating, training, and living like Sir Jesse James West himself. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I'm going to devour this one pancake because I used too much gear gum and the rest of them got effed up. Also, we have a packed day. We're going to head over to the gym, which I'm trying to be more consistent at. And then we're going to go to the beach today. And literally, this is the first meal. What is your favorite meal for breakfast? Comment down below. Is it pancakes, French toast, you know, bacon, eggs, and cheese, McGriddles, etc.? Mine's is definitely pancakes and waffles. I love the thick and fluffy Eggos strawberry shortcake waffles. Let's go. I'll do a taste test for you guys. Mmm. Not bad, Jesse. Not bad. <laughs> In the words of Jesse James West, last bite, best bite, baby. Mm. What do you want me for, mm. The best part of this meal, you guys, was soaking up all the chocolate, the sugar-free juices from the syrup. First meal, down hatch. <laughs> Checking in GS Squad, so Jesse likes he likes to plan his day out. So what he does is get a log book or, you know, he goes to the computer, finish up any work he has to do. Me, on the other hand, I like to do the same as well. I feel like this keeps me on track for the day so that I don't miss out on any chores or any work that I have to get done for the day. So sit back, chill out, and plan with me for the day. out the way i just jotted down a couple things i have to do today which is laundry get a haircut run a couple errands dinner at six party tonight um and home workouts because i'm not gonna make it out to the gym because it's gonna be too late then i have this reels idea that i want to do um which is right here on the ipad but you know sometimes like you can um you you may word things a certain way in your notes where you understand it and others don't yeah that's me so it goes walk past room pin little transition <laughs> and then i have um prepare my outfit and make sure my lighting is good so it's still early in the morning so we got enough time to get So it's currently 9.15. Ah, you hear that? That's the sound of mother nature. So you guys, after doing all that work, Jesse said that we should go on a meditation walk where we just free our mind. We just think of our goals and how we're going to achieve them. So I'm going to answer two questions. How do I deal with, 
you know, burnout. Sometimes as a creator, I get burnt out because I pack so much work on my plate. What I would suggest is that we treat it as if we're going back to the dinner table for seconds or thirds. You know, when you go to the dinner table for first, depending on your metabolism, you may get a little bit of food or you may get a lot of food. Get a little bit of food first and then go back to the table. I mean, go back to the dinner table for seconds to get more food. So what I'm saying is, you guys, don't pack a whole bunch of work on your plate at one time and get frustrated and then get down to the point where you don't know what you want to do or you don't know where you should start. If you have 15 things to do, start off with five. Then you work your way up to 10. Then you work your way up to 15. Don't be sitting here like freaking a chicken with no head running around town trying to create all 15 things in one day. Sometimes you have to pace yourself and just break things up. Number two, what are my goals in achievements that I want to accomplish for this channel. Well, I think my goal is definitely to hit a thousand subscribers before the end of the summer, you guys. And um, my achievements that I want to accomplish, well, some achievements that I want to accomplish is just, you know, currently continue to keep this positive energy going. I mean, first of all, this is not a facade. So let me rephrase that. I just want to keep the positive energy going, you guys. I want to continue, continue to continue to have a burst of energy. And I don't want nobody to knock me off of my feet if you get what i'm saying like as far as you know content creations like i love to sit back and you know just brainstorm and talk to friends about different ideas but sometimes i feel myself like leaving the game like mentally as far as like okay well i'm a little burnt out and that's cool but i want to have it where i plan my content and i'm just like okay well i have all this stuff planned out so it's not like i hit a bump in a row you know just follow along with the blueprint so i think i'm just mainly saying hey just continue to have confidence in your plan. Like, stop doubting yourself, pretty much. Yeah, so that's pretty much it, you guys. Now we're going to head over to the gym. It is currently 10.45 a.m. and we are headed out to the gym. So check it, you guys. Quick little story time. I remember I used to procrastinate and did not want to go to the gym. There would be weeks and weeks that would go by and Planet Fitness would continue to just take the money out of my account. Oh, shit, what the fuck is that? Oh, hate, oh, hate the summertime only bugs be flying on me. Long story short... Um, I just got up one day because I kept having heartburn and I went to the doctor. The doctor was like, look, your sugar is above the normal rate that it's supposed to be. And also you keep having heartburn because you're putting all these fatty and unhealthy foods in your system. I started going to the gym, you guys, and I'm feeling more and more motivated to work out and get that bod. I'm trying to be natty. You know, I'm trying to be like Jesse James West. <laughs> but you guys, um health is wealth and it's very important that you work out no matter if you just walk around your block two times walk up and down the stairs twice or just go into the gym so let's get into this workout in three two one after the gym we headed to the shore jersey shore beach boys oh yeah I guess that's what happens with fat boy put down the Debbie cakes and ice creams and shit like that You start feeling that extra weight sitting up on you. Yeah, my legs gonna feel like noodles after Yo, but anyways, y'all I had a great workout. I was definitely OD sweaty But check this out as I was sitting there working out right some dude He was standing there looking at me. So you ever feel like somebody's intimidated by your presence and then what they'll do is just kind of like walk beside you or like walk around you just to see if they could intimidate you and make them feel like a bigger person. So I wasn't paying homie no mind, but I was looking at him from my peripheral vision because I was like, yo, if he run up, he gonna get done with one of these weights, man. I tell you right now, homeboy going to do a bench press, his legs all wobbling and shit like that. I'm like, yo, go sit down somewhere, you toothpick. But anyway, I'm at Broadway Junction waiting on the A or the C. Check it, so it's one-on-one. -on -one. Before we head to the beach, we're gonna head to Chick-fil-A and get two crispy Joe chicken sandwiches. I'm gonna holler back at y'all. I'm on the train busting down this grilled chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A. This shit is bustin' bustin'. And also, this water is hitting. I feel refreshed, rejuvenated. 
Everything is so nice and fresh. Meat is juicy, lemon is juicy. Tomato is juicy. Mm -mm -mm. It is 2 p.m. and we beach down the far Rockaway, baby. We finna get lit and turn up. <laughs> Last bite, best bite, baby. So I just pulled up to the beach, you guys, and I'm glad that I came out here. Dolly, feel me? We make it all Dolly Moon Summer 2022 until that lit group come along or to that girl come along that's fun to vibe with me any and everywhere. It's so calming, relaxing, and soothing here in the sounds of the water. You got people walking by selling ices and mangoes and shit like that. And then, you know, damn, I want me a funnel cake, but that's not part of the video, though. Hmm. Anyways, let's turn up. Peace. How much y'all want to bet that water is cold as shit right now? Should we do like a rock, paper, scissors type shoot situation? Okay, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock. Fuck it, I'm gonna just jump in yellow. It's a fat boy summer! We finna turn up! Sheesh. Can't stress it enough, but I really had a good time at the beach, you guys. I got six minutes until my train come. My phone is on 1%, but make sure you take the time out for self-love and just go somewhere by yourself, regardless if it's the beach, is a movie date, Dolly, is a spa day, and just have some time to yourself to really sit back and understand and enjoy the qualities of you and not nobody else. <laughs> but I holler back at y'all for dinner time. We get to the crib, baby. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Fat Boy's Kitchen. So for dinner, Jesse James West said that he has salad. I have some spicy popcorn chicken. Oh my God, let me take one bite of this. It smells delicious. Mmm, nice little crunch to it. Not too spicy, just right. Jesse also told me that if you hashtag Tendies in the comment section below, I get 20% off Gorilla Mons. Yeah! And I also get 20% off the Single Mons merch. Yeah! I love Single Mons, Single Mons raw. And I have my 12 glasses of coffee. Now, anybody that knows me, y'all, know that I love coffee. And it's so weird that Jesse said that he loves coffee too. He has about four to five cups a day, I think. So do I. He loves pancakes, I love pancakes. We have so many things in common, you guys. We never hung out and chill. I'm pretty sure once we do hang out and chill, we are going to turn the up. He said that he used antibiotic salt. I could not find that. My blood pressure is already too high. So I'm going to eat this on up and I'm going to holler back at y'all at 8.30. <laughs> It is currently 8.30 p.m., ladies and gentlemen, and that concludes today's video of eating, training, living like Jesse James West for 24 hours. I had a blast doing this video, you guys, because for Jesse, if you ever see this video, just know it would be an honor to hang out with you. Even if, guys, even if Jesse was like, yo, you know, like we could link up, but like don't record anything. I would definitely respect his privacy, you guys, because I believe in getting know, to know somebody off the camera before you start throwing the camera all in their face like oh yeah we the best of friends we best buddies no i'm the same way i'm like yo if i don't know you don't come in my face with this camera talking about oh yeah we cool we this we that no we not we don't know each other like that we don't rock like that feel me get to know me off camera let me know that it's authentic let me know that it's organic feel me and then if i feel like it's organic then we can maybe take it up a notch i got to dive into his workout regimen and i also got to see you know what he ate for 24 hours because jesse is fit when he did that um that public strength challenge in new york city the same way his physique looks on camera is the same way it looks in person i know you may be like yo duh we spot the obvious but i was like damn you know jesse just, he just has a good physique and i want to get down to a physique like that and i want to lose weight um y'all already know i told y'all my blood pressure is a little high and also, they say that I'm morbid obese, kind of the doctors. I know that may be a little exaggerated, but I said that I'm definitely going to start taking my workouts more serious, you guys, and definitely be dedicated because I want to lose a total of 40 and 50 pounds. Listen, I'm not going to disappear and look like Casper the Ghost now. Ooh, but I am going to lose some weight and fat boy is going to be looking, you know, a little slim, a little trim. You know, the ladies still going to be feeling me. They're going to be loving the vibes. You already know that. But, um... 
like I said, it, this is a spiritual journey for me and a personal journey because, you know, I spend time by myself. I'm in the stages of my life where I'm not waiting for nobody, you guys. I'm just getting up and going. I want to go to Coney Island. I'm going. I feel like there's times that you wait on people and they don't come through for you sometimes. For an example, you could be like, yo, to your homegirl, to your, to your bro, your best friend. Yo, let's go to Coney Island. You all excited, the building the anticipation up or whatever the case is. The day come, they flop. Then you be sitting in the crib like, oh, uh-uh. Don't sit in the crib. Still go to Coney Island because you may meet new friends that you can add on to your checklist and spend a block on them two weeks from now or three weeks from now in a positive way. Maybe, you know, going out shopping, going out to a cookout, etc. But like I said, I enjoyed making this video, you guys. Um, Michael B. Jordan, eating, training, and living like Michael B. Jordan next week, Friday. Mark your calendars because it's on and popping. Maybe I may drop it on Thursday because y'all know I dropped the weekly vlogs on Friday. Like I said, Michael B. Jordan next week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Jesse, thank you for letting us dive into your workout regimen, seeing what you eat for 24 hours. Man, oh man, oh man. We love coffee. We love pancakes. We love waffles. We love French toast. Thanks everyone, but we gonna eat. See y'all next time. Peace. Woo! Peace.